Good Monday morning, everyone. This is Atlanta and Company. I'm Christine Pallara. So happy you are here. How's your Monday going so far? I got to say, I woke up feeling invigorated. I thought, you know what? It's the start of a new week. It is the start of a new month, and most importantly, the start of Black History Month, uh, which we will be celebrating here on the show and on 11 Alive all month long. I um, mean, as you know, I tell you guys, I listen to music as I get ready. So that had me inspired by one of my favorites, the one and only singer, uh, songwriter, composer, civil rights activist, Nina Simone. Hit it, Nina. Yes. I've actually listened to it three times. Come on, guys. Get pumped up for Monday. And also, side note for all of you who uh, made it through dry January, good for you. Cheers. Hi, Kara Kinnear with All Good Stories. Don't you just love that song? <laughs> I love Nina some Nina Simone. Simone. I love some Feeling Good. There's actually a really good children's book about Nina Simone that I have that I read to my kids. So. Thank you for giving us, blessing oh, us fabulous. with that this morning. I love it. What a way to start February. Yeah. Uh, all right. Should we get inspiring. into some It's All Good stories, my love? All right. Because we have yes. a Shiro amongst us. I feel a little bit remiss that we haven't spoken about Letitia Springer before. But Letitia is an activist. And she was protesting this summer and was standing out in the hot sun. And she thought, you know what? I need to do something. I need to not stand here anymore. I want to get into the community and make a difference. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start a not-for-profit called Free 99 Fridge. And I have to tell you, there was an article in Eater back in August about her and her mission and all the glorious things that she's been doing um, since the summer for our community and her community. And um, since then, I've seen it pop up on my friends' Instagrams and next door about what she's actually done. So Free 99 Fridge. Dot com is where you can go to get more information, but I'll tell you again at the end of the segment. But um, what it is is a mutual aid organization that provides free food for those who need it. It's the epitome of community. So it calls on volunteers. It calls on restaurants. It has fresh produce, non-perishable food, personal hygiene um, uh, items in there. Uh, it's a voluntary, self-supported thing that she's doing. Um, since she started Free 99 Fridge, uh, there are seven fridges. There might be more now. I was trying to find on the internet if there were any updates, but I believe there are seven right now. They rely on, you know, restaurants, even people uh, in their residences that are getting rid of fridges. So uh, if you have something that you can donate, please do. Yes. Uh, and there are all sorts of opportunities. You can volunteer monetarily, but go to free99fridge.com. They also have an Instagram page. I've seen one of them in an area I live close by, too. So something that everybody can get involved with and making oh, it great. accessible uh, for those that are in need. So thank you, Letitia Springer, for doing that. And we just wanted to amplify you and your good deeds uh, here this morning to start this week off. Yeah, Kara, and you know, I know it really hit us both so hard when we went down to the Atlanta Community Food Bank and seeing the need. I mean, we mm -hmm. saw uh, thousands and thousands of square feet of food that, guess what, guys? It was going to last for just two weeks. So the need is so great. So, yes, yeah. I love, love, love that she just put her, her thoughts and her words into action. And so that is just incredible. We all need yeah. to do more of that.